Shut up and sit down. Hi everyone, Tony Day here, and today I wanted to try to answer a question that I've received about the crop factor with Micro Four Thirds, and specifically the Black Magic Pocket 4K. And it's actually really interesting because the Blackmagic Pocket 4K is not exactly a micro four thirds sensor. Um, it's a four thirds sensor, and this one's actually a little weird because it says four thirds, but uh, I'll just I'll explain, okay? So um, basically, with the Blackmagic Pocket 4K, it's a little bit different. This says for a four thirds, it's 17.8 by 10, right? But actually, the interesting thing is if you look at the website, it is an 18.96 by 10. Okay, so it's a four thirds, which actually on the cpp.com uh, website is a little wonky, right? So if you actually scroll down, what you'll notice, and I, I am providing a link to this so you can look at it all yourself as I'm talking about it, there's a whole list of stuff here, okay? And um, what you'll see, you've got one third, one half, two third, super 16, four third, whatever, okay? There's a bunch. And of course, the crop factors are all in relation to full frame 35 millimeter, okay? Now, full frame, I don't like to say like just regular full frame because full frame is relative. For some people, super 35 is full frame for like movies. So, you know, just 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 take it as it, as it comes, okay? Just, just understand that anytime that we're talking about a crop factor, it's in relation to what it's gonna look like on a 35 millimeter camera, okay? So, you're probably asking, well, if the Blackmagic Pocket isn't a four-third sensor, right? It's not a micro four-third sensor like a GH5, it's different, right? So let's actually do the math, okay? So here's how the math is done. You've got this number here, 36, and you divide it by this number, okay? So if we do that, we take 36 and we divide by 17.8, you'll get 2.022 blah, 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 right? So basically this is how you get the crop factor. So what that means is that we can basically determine the crop factor of really anything, okay? So on the Black Magic Pocket, it's an 18.96 by 10. So that means what we're gonna do is we are gonna take 36 and divide it by 18.96. And we end up with about a 1.9 crop factor. So if you've seen this floating around, that's why it exists, okay? It's a 1.9 crop factor. And that's what I'm going to use to determine my relative focal lengths and uh, depth of field. So here is a spreadsheet that I created uh, to kind of try to illustrate the relative uh, focal lengths and uh, relative uh, minimum depth of field in relation to a full frame 35 millimeter camera because everybody seems to want to know, well, what does it look like in compared to a 35 millimeter full frame camera if you were shoot video, right? Now, I don't want to get into the whole debate about, you know, lenses aren't magical and then when you put them on like a cropped sensor that they don't magically change their focal length. I'm not talking about that, okay? I'm also not saying that for magical reasons that your depth of field is all, is all changed, okay? I'm talking about relative to if you were to try to frame a shot the exact same way that these are the factors that are to be taken into account okay because the more cropped the sensor is the more you've got to back up to try to get a similar looking shot that's what i'm going on please do not argue below about all that crap okay i'm not really into it if you want to argue that fine but that's not what i'm saying okay okay so to try to explain what's going on here, what I've done is I've created a spreadsheet to not endorse any particular brand. I just gave some different uh, focal lengths here with different f-stops at, well, not random, but I just put them in there. Um, so if you look here, I have a Super 35 relative focal lengths and relative minimum depth of field that you can achieve with the lens. Um, I also have a four thirds with a speed booster, relative focal lengths, etc. Okay, I've also got uh, without speed booster, I've got micro four third with and without speed boosters. So if you wanna see how it related maybe to your GH5 or another micro four third camera that you've been using, then you can know, okay? Let's build this thing, okay? 
So all I've done is I've translated the information from what we already know, right? So we know that the crop factor for 35 millimeter is, uh, you know, it's, it's a one and the minimum depth of field is going to be one, right? It's going to be basically be whatever the lens says it is. Okay. Since everything that we're doing is in relation to full frame 35 millimeter. Okay. So we've also put, um, actually we'll, we'll remove this one for now, just so I can show you how you can pull down the information to basically do this to any lens that you put in. Okay. So the reason why these crop factors are important for us to consider is because the relative focal length and the relative minimum depth of field that you can get is going to be determined by this number, okay? We're gonna skip by the speed booster one for now and we're just gonna get the four thirds, this is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K four thirds sensor uh, relative focal length and the relative minimum depth of field crop factors, okay? And we just determined that is a 1.9, right? So now, what we're gonna do is do the same thing for Micro Four Third. What we know is that it's a two, okay? We already figured that out, that a Micro Four Third crop is two. Bam, okay, so we've got that in there. Now we're gonna figure out the speed boosters uh, with the crop factor, okay? So to figure out the crop factor of any uh, sensor with a speed booster, you basically multiply the crop factor by whatever the magnification is of the speed booster. So I'm gonna use the 0.71 because that's what I have, okay? So we're gonna create a formula, we're gonna say equals, and it's going to be the crop factor of the four thirds, and then we're gonna multiply by 0.71, and that gives us a 1.35, okay? We're basically just gonna copy that over to the next cell. Okay, because it's the same. So now let's do the micro four thirds. We'll do the same thing, equals the crop factor that we already know, and then we'll multiply by 0.71. And we get 1.42. So even with that, even if you're somebody who has been shooting with a micro four thirds like I have for a long time now uh, with a speed booster, you're getting a look that's very similar to Super 35. I mean, obviously, there, there, depending on your camera, you might have an additional crop factor or whatever, but the full sensor basically is supposed to be giving you this kind of crop factor. Whether it's like a little bit less or a little bit more or whatever, that's totally possible, but with this, you should get a pretty relative idea of what kind of look you're going to get. It shouldn't be grossly different. So moving on, let's uh, figure out how to create our formulas for each of these. And they're all going to really follow the exact same type of formula. All we're going to do is change the numbers around, okay? But I'm going to show you how to build out the first couple, and then you can just do the same thing with each of the other ones. Just make sure that your numbers are right. Okay, so for determining the relative focal length that you'll have and the relative minimum depth of field, it's really going to be the exact same thing. Um, it's, it's the exact same formula. Uh, the only difference is that the values are going to be different, right? So I'm going to start, you know, equals, and then I'm going to choose the cell with the focal length, right? And then we're going to multiply that by the crop factor. Now I'm not going to select the cell because if you actually select the cell and then you pull down the information, it will translate incorrectly. So we don't want to do that. Okay. Okay. So pretty close to a 35 millimeter, not exact, but it's pretty close. So the next thing that we're gonna do, since it's gonna be the exact same formula, we're just gonna pull this cell to the right and boom, we get the relative minimum depth of field. So you're gonna get a depth of field uh, when you try to reframe the shot that's gonna look similar to about a 2.8 if you're using an F2 lens, okay? We're gonna do the next one, okay? We're gonna go with the, the Black Magic Pocket 4 thirds uh, with the speed booster relative focal length, okay? So again, it's gonna equal and we're gonna choose the cell with the focal length in, in full frame 35 millimeter. We'll multiply it by the crop factor. And again, for this, we wanna punch in 1.35 instead of use the cell, and we get 32.4. We pull that over, and now we also get the relative uh, minimum depth of field. I'm not saying <laughs> relative f-stop because I know I'm gonna get a bunch of flack if I say that, right? So basically, what this is saying is that when we are shooting on the Blackmagic Pocket with a 24 millimeter lens, it will give us a similar look. 
if we try to reframe the shot to get the same kind of framing as on 35mm, it will give us the similar look of a 32.4mm at 2.7. Okay, I hope this all makes sense. So I'm just going to fill in the rest of these because it follows the exact same thing, okay? Okay, so I've went ahead and put in that information for you. So now we all can see in the 24mm f2 how it relates all the way down the line. And if you never believed me before, this is why this math works out. You've probably been told that if you were shooting with a 24mm on a uh, micro four third camera that had an f2 that it was about the same as shooting a 48 millimeter at f4. This is why, this is how the math works out. So if I just take this and I pull this down like this, you can see that as we go down, 35 millimeter is gonna look almost like a 50 millimeter, a 50 millimeter is gonna look almost like a 70 millimeter, and an 85 is gonna look almost like 120, okay? So we keep doing this and we can get the relative minimum depth of field. Uh, and again, I'm just going to pull all these down so you guys can see that this totally works. It, I think it is a pretty cool way of kind of creating your own calculations, your own sheet. As long as your math is input properly, you're going to have no problems at all with doing this. Okay, you can do this all yourself. So I hope this all makes sense to you guys. I tried to keep this as short as I could. Um, it, again, if you, if you have any questions, please uh, put some questions below and I can, or I can, or somebody else who's gonna be cool can help you out. Um, again, I want to just stress to you that I'm not saying that lenses magically change. All we're talking about is that the field of view changes dependent on how uh, the, the image is being cropped, okay? That's basically what's going on. Your, your image is being cropped in some way, that's why there's a crop factor, and it does affect the kind of depth of field you can get at the same type of framing Okay, if you're doing a headshot, like head and shoulders headshot on each different camera with each different crop factor, the, the crop does affect what you're going to get. Okay, that's assuming that you're reframing the shot to look the same. Okay, I hope this has been beneficial. And uh, again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, please let me know uh, down below in the comments and uh, try to help you out.